Right there buddy, English Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel more so thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now you guys want to subscribe to my channel already, you probably know by the background I'm in my permission woodland. Uh, me and Scott's had a phone call from landowner saying there's some kids being around here Thursday night. So we've come down tonight, you know, just to show his face a little bit to let him know we're still using this permission. We don't want to lose it because I think you guys know if you do this sort of stuff, it's really hard to get a bit of woodland these days and to get on the right side of the landowner. So me and Scott both agree we'll come here tonight, do a camp and show his face. Now, if you subscribe to my channel, I've been doing a lot of hot tent camping and I've used my big heavy stove for the hot tent. Well, I splashed out a bit of cash and I got myself a uh, titanium folding stove. So that's gonna make hot tent camping a lot easier. I'm gonna get to more places throughout winter time, all being well. So tonight's camp is an absolutely skin camp. Honestly, I, I, I just can't afford to spend no more money. I know it might sound stupid on a seven pound piece of steak, but that's the way it goes, okay? Christmas is two weeks away. I've got kids to pay for, we've got all the Christmas and we still have bills. So I can't afford to spend no more money. So in a bit, I'll show you exactly what I'm using for my dinner. And you might be interested as well to see what they do look like and taste like. But for now, I need to get this tent set up because like I said, it is starting to rain. Free F UL gear tent. Get that set up. What I like about this tent is most tents what you buy, they give you like these really hard stuff sacks to get it into. We'll look at all the room in there. It's about twice the amount of room. Once you finish using it, you just roll it back up. So I really do like the carry case on this. Everything's in here from the inner itself the ground sheet got pegs or well, poles sorry pegs and then this is the uh, fly sheet itself That rain has started to come down now. I got the inner of the tent a little bit wet, but I'm not too bothered about that. This is the uh, problem if you get inner pitch tents first, when it's raining a little bit, you get this problem. But it's not too bad, it's not it's gonna cause many problems. I just hope the rain lets off a little bit and we're not in the tent all night. Who knows, let's crack on it. Eh? You know, I got these boots from Sports Direct, waterproof boots, £39. I got them in the summertime, so good sale on. Yeah, £39. And my feet are absolutely roasting in them.
Right, so I'm sleeping set up what I'm gonna be using tonight in this video. Now, in this video I've already said I'm a bit skin. Someone said last time I shouldn't be saying that on social media I'm skin. I just wanna say now I'm not bothered about being skin. I'm not bothered about saying it. I'm not really too fussed about it to be truthful. My partner's got what she wanted for Christmas. I've got what I wanted, my foldable stove. It's gonna make my videos a bit better. I don't have to carry that big heavy stove around anymore. So if I use what I had saved for my Christmas present and it's made me skin for the next two or three days, I'm a very happy person to be like that. You know, being skin, you all know what it's like when you're getting close to pay day and that money hits your bank, it's like, get in. <laughs> I won't like to have a lot of money and not have that feeling. Like, you know, when Amazon's coming and they always say, he's eight stops away, I'm like, oh, he's eight stops away. Let's look out window for him. <laughs> I like to be like that. I like to be the sort of person that I'm. I run out of money, I run out of money. Yeah, I absolutely love getting that notice from Amazon. Your driver's eight stops away. <laughs> I just love it. Imagine being rich and not having them problems. Anyway, what am I going to be using? Yes, I don't care if I'm skin. I don't care if I say it on camera. I'm just not too bothered. So, this brand here is called Beyond Outdoors. They sent me this... Uh, sleeping mat I think about a year ago and the sleeping bag and their rucksack but their rucksack is pretty good so I'm gonna be using this because it's got foam on the inside of it and I'm gonna be using my Unigear air mat now it's not a winter's air mat so that's why I'm gonna be using that on top of this so I won't get any cold coming through and then because it's cold and last thing I want to be doing is waking up through night, I'm going to be using my Outdoor Vitals Ultralight sleeping bag. I used this last weekend and by God it was lovely and warm. As soon as I turned that stove down, unbelievable. The heat in this sleeping bag is fantastic. I just let get this out, let it puff up because it is a down sleeping bag. So all the air needs to get in there and puff it up really nicely. Right, so the plan was tonight is we were going to have a bit of a fire, but now this rain's here, it looks like it's going to be in the tent most of the night. So I will try to get much footage as possible without overdoing it. So what I'm going to eat tonight is these hydrated and dehydrated meals like a pudding as well. Now if you subscribe to my channel, you'll know I've got a second YouTube channel. Where what I do is I buy meals like this, I taste them, I show you what the content look like, I go through the recipes and stuff. That's on another YouTube channel. What I do, I link that to the description below, and I'll share a link at the end of the screen, end of the video when these squares that pop up. I'll share that there for you guys if you're interested in going to see the channel. I think there's about 30 videos on it now. It's not a popular channel, but you know it's it's growing nice and slowly. So this hydrated one spicy meat mixed adventure menus these are really nice i've had quite a few of theirs now really nice meals and then for like a pudding we've got one or two choices i'm going to eat both of them <laughs> i'm not just going to leave one so we've got cinnamon and rice pudding pack and go and then we've got custard with apple 
bet that one's absolutely amazing. These are dehydrated ones. You, this one you need 350 ml of boiling water. 350 ml of boiling water as well. And the hydrated one. You can eat this hot or cold if you want. But yeah, we'll put it in some hot water. Get it warmed up. I really don't, don't think I'd try and eat it, you know, uh, cold. Two or three minutes in the pan. I've got a little pan actually. Got this thing here. Uh, Wild Camping International. I presume, I don't know reason for two of them. What I'll do is I'll pour the content of the hydrated one in here, put it on the little gas ring, and then we'll warm it up. Yeah, I'm looking, looking forward to trying this. And all you do is you clip them on, or once you put the other pan lid on, you clip them back down with these here. So we'll have a look at that. Just went outside then to get some footage of the tent, you know, with light on from outside and wow, since that wind's kicked in, the temperature out there has dropped a lot. So I was just wondering what meal should I eat first really? Well they're more like a, a cinnamon rice pudding. That's definitely an uh, after meal sort of pudding, isn't it? Custard with apple. Most time at day, that really, isn't it? I'm gonna uh, make my, my meal. It's only six o'clock as well. No, it's not six. It's 16.30, half past four. I just remembered the six. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 16.30. That don't smell too bad. Hmm. Smells alright that does. I wouldn't normally put them into a little tin like this. But why not try it like that? That's what I wanna say. Fourteen percent turkey, pork, uh, salt, garlic, onion, mushrooms, wheat flour, oil, peppers, pepper, vinegar, salt, sugar. Mm. So when it says a meat mixed, turkey and pork, that's the meat. Right, let's get some dinner going. Getting 
dark outside now. Time I start getting scared. Boogie man's gonna come and get me. <laughs> it's the boogie man. Not too bothered. Scott's over the side, about 20 foot away from me. Scott can sort boogie man out. <laughs> right, let's turn this round and get cooking. Mr. Fox can have that piece. There's a lot of pepper in it. This is what you need when you're out camping and it's cold. A nice warm meal. Very simple, wasn't it? I didn't have to do hardly any effort. <laughs> Very simple cooking. And that's what I like sometimes. Right, I've just put kettle back on. I'm gonna make a nice warm drink. I am absolutely freezing. I've had some of these in my cupboard for a long time. They run out in 2020. Hot chocolate drinks, so we're gonna to to make a nice drink with them. Now, Scott needs 34 more subscribers to hit that 6,000 before Christmas. So once you watch my video, if you've got a spare minute, I'll share a link in the description to his channel where you pop over and subscribe to him. He only needs 34 more subscribers. As soon as you see him at 6,002, just unsubscribe from him. <laughs> I'm only joking. At least the rain's died off for a little bit. I say that, you can still hear it very slightly, can't we? Ah, oh, this cup's absolutely roasting. Wow. Cheap, uh, cheap hot chocolates, but they're not bad. definitely dark now isn't it I think I've seen a few boogie men running around at top there two of these little zombies people keep saying watch out for boogie man <laughs> yeah I've seen a few running past Ed in Scott's way not my way <laughs> The joys of camping in winter months there. Eh? Apparently a vegan outdoors is on his way to camp. Leaving it a bit late but as you can see the wind's picking up really bad now. So he'll have a fun time setting his tent up. Yeah, he should be here soon. 
think I'm going to make this uh, custard with apple shortly. There's not a lot I can show you, you know, obviously tonight with this rain. As it sort of stopped a little bit. It is there slightly on the but the wind's kicked in now. So obviously, you know, there's not much I'm going to do outside, is there? Like I said, early in the video, I'll show you what I can show you. There's no point me putting things into the videos to make it a bit longer when it's probably just nonsense. Well, vegan outdoorsman's here. Doesn't that look cool on the tent? Well, I've finally got round to doing the custard with apple pudding. I'm going to say it's a pudding. Ingredients, powder, sugar, apple pieces, vegetable oil, potato starch, spice, flavouring. I don't really give much of a hint which spice it uses. Made in a factory what handles gluten, soya, milk, eggs and mustard. Contains milk and soya. Yeah. Well. I think I should remember to bring out a wind block. The water's boiling all right. It just likes white powder inside. Not too fantastic. Don't know what it smells like custard powder. Yeah, I think it's got a smell of custard powder to it. I don't know if anyone's done it yet, but if someone's asked me what did I do with my eye, me and my daughter were play fighting and she threw a makeup brush at me. It happened to cut my eye a little bit. <laughs> I thought, here we go, a big black eye. But nah, it's a little cut there. Not too bad. I let her out of the cupboard probably Monday morning for school. She's been there since Friday. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> I think the water's boiled enough now. Right, we'll just close the zip part on it. And I think you've got to leave it eight minutes. Six to eight minutes you've got to leave it. Maybe we didn't do that too bad, wasn't it? There we go. Right, so my uh, pudding's done. It's not very appealing to be truthful. It tastes the apple, but there's no taste of custard. So I've had an idea. 
I've got one of these chocolate drinks. Oh, now I've got chocolate dust everywhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate to this and then a little bit on my sleeping mat. What an absolute clown. I'm gonna have to give it a really good mix. Oh, I'm not gonna get this off. Anyway. Let's get this mixed in. There's always some of what goes wrong. rest of it in. Can't believe that. The floor's full of it now. Right, see what this tastes like, see if it tastes any better. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. It's a million times better, that. Mm. That's made it a million times better. It didn't taste nice earlier. I'll see you in a bit. Last weekend I used some of these camping slippers. They're called Sundic ones. This time I brought these ones back out. These ones are really warm, especially inside this sleeping bag as well. I won't have cold feet at all tonight. Right, well I've just made myself my cinnamon rice pudding and uh, another hot chocolate and once I've had these it will be time to get me head down for night it is 11 o'clock oh, good morning people it's half past six in the morning body clock's kicked in I'm not at work by now it's still raining I'm not sure if you can hear it. I've been in this tent a lot of hours. I'll bring you back in a bit. Well, I've just come out for a little walk to stretch my legs. I've been in that tent for 14 hours. And my back is absolutely killing me with laying down. Yeah, you can see there, it's not a massive bit of woodland. But at least having some permission land is better than none. Got me a tent down there. Scott's. Uh, there, I think that's vegan outdoors, his tent. That were too long in the tent for me, that. 14 hours. Right, 
I better get packed up. I've got a uh, video call at 9.30. It's now quarter to nine. So I really do need to get a move on. All I've got to do is take the tent down. Everything else is packed up. Right, so all packed up, ready to go home. Dan and Scott's there. Links to both channels in the description, as always. Yeah, it's not been the best video. It's been more inside your tent and talking away and stuff like that. But as the weather was, well, you could see it on camera. It wasn't brilliant. Now, if you want to see more, you could hit this here by subscribing to my channel. I'll put another video at the top here so you can see that. If you don't mind, view that one as well. But for now, thank you very much. And I'll definitely see you next time.